Hey guys, you're welcome to Kema Free. In case you're new here, my name is Kemi Omorugwe. I'm a fashion designer based in Nigeria. And on this channel, we dish out sewing tutorials, fashion business talks, and some vlogs sometimes around the sewing business weekly. If you're into sewing, DIYs, or fashion business in general, you will love it here. Please subscribe to the channel and join the farm. In a previous video, I showed you a tutorial on how to draft the pattern for this denim dress. In today's video, we'll be sewing the pieces together to make the dress finally. I'll put up a link for that tutorial up above and in the description box. Do check it out. So here are the pieces I have transferred from the pattern to the fabric. Here is the pattern transferred for the back piece. I have the center back piece right here and I added half an inch allowance everywhere apart from the zip allowance side which doesn't have any allowance. And for the side panel of the back, I added half an inch every other place aside from the side. So the side seam allowance is one inch. And these are the patterns for the front. I have cut out the yoke which is an illusion mesh for the yoke of the dress and I, I cut out two pieces actually i added half an inch allowance at the side and the top so for this center panel i have half an inch all around and for the side panel we have half an inch everywhere aside from this little side right here which is part of the side seam so for the panel we'll be adding at the side that's um nude skin effect at the side i have cut out a nude fabric here i added half an inch on this side i'll be attaching to the dress and for the side i have one inch side seam allowance i've also proceeded to cut out a skin tone mesh to lay on top of the crepe this has a way of making it feel more real as a part of the skin so the same mesh i used for the yoke i used the same mesh to cover up the skin um the skin toned crepe i used you can actually make use of another fabric instead of crepe you can make use of any nude nude fabric actually now let's move on to the sewing parts i'll be starting off by working on this tool so i actually should have just cut these two pieces um as a single piece with the top folded so that way i don't have to go through this step but since i have two separate pieces that are actually unfold i will go ahead and stitch the top by half an inch and once i'm done which i'm actually done here i proceeded to trim off the allowance so that it gives that neat finishing before turning it inside out so i have this right here so at this point i discovered that i was actually supposed to cut these pieces unfold right but no issue i'll go ahead to um join the sides the two center panel together and at the end of the day this made the work easier it made me achieve that sharp um sweetheart neckline okay you know that sharp part can be challenging but with this it was just so easy i think i'll be using this method on other uh, outfits now that i have discovered it so in sewing these two pieces together, the seam allowance will stop just half an inch above the waistline. That's the same position where my mesh or my skin tone tool will end. So I'll go ahead now to sew from the waist to that point by half an inch. So right here, I'm done attaching the two center front panels together and it's time to now sew the net. So because I nudged the top of the tool okay that's indicated on the pattern so when you are cutting out the pattern remember to place your notches they can be very very helpful so for this i'll pin right from where i nudged all the way down because i'll be sewing these two together by half an inch so i pinned on one side i proceeded to pin on the other side so doing this two doing the two sides together kind of made me observe if it was well balanced you know to make any correction before proceeding to sew so I did all that and I'll just go ahead. So this is what I have right after painting. I'll go ahead to sew from the inside by half an inch.
here we have it looking very neat. I must say I'm impressed. Like I mentioned earlier on, I'll be using this method because it just made attaching the tool to the denim so much easier. Okay, I forgot to mention that I also cut out lining for this. I'm using a spider lining, which is a cutting type of lining. I didn't want anything stretchy or flimsy on this dress, considering that the weight of the denim is heavy. So this just did the job for me. What I did here was to use the lining to close up the seam allowance and I sew it together by half an inch. That was done and I notched the seam part to help it relax properly. Then I went ahead to top stitch on the lining with the seam allowance towards the lining. I top stitched by a quarter of an inch. So this just helps the lining lay flat okay, so that you don't have any puckering outside. So next, I'll be attaching the side panel for only the lining. I'll be joining it to the center piece by half an inch. Note that I didn't attach the side panel for the main fabric, that's the denim fabric. Now, I only did that for the lining because I'll be attaching peplum on the main fabric, okay? So for now, let's move on to the back. For the back, we have two pieces. And I also cut out two pieces of lining for each side of the back. So I'll be starting by attaching the lining to the denim fabric and sewing together by half an inch. That's to turn the neckline like so. Once I was done sewing the neckline of the lining to that of the denim, I went ahead to notch and then I'll be top stitching on the lining by half an inch, making sure that the seam allowance is facing towards the lining. That's I'm also top stitching on the seam allowance. So we have this. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Now, just like I did for the front, I'll be sewing the two pieces for the lining alone. I'll be joining the two together by half an inch so all the steps I've taken so far I'll be doing the same thing on the other side now here we have it the next thing I'll be doing will be to join these two pieces together along the shoulder line so I'll just open up the denim fabric and I'll be attaching the denim fabric to the denim fabric of the front okay I'm attaching the front and the back pieces along the shoulder and I'll just continue on the lining part of things. So just remember, we still have the side panels separated, okay? It's for a reason. That's because of the flare we'll be attaching along the that line, like so. So just the same way I'm attaching the shoulder of this main piece, I'll be doing the same thing on the two side panels that for the front and the back, right? So all that is done now. I've done all my shoulder joining. I can just set this aside to so work on the peplum part for a little bit, okay? Now this is the first layer. For each of the sleeves, we have three layers. This one is four inches long at the center, okay? And it tapers off to a smaller length towards the edges. So I'll go ahead now to sew in crinoline on the outer part of the peplum i'm sewing by half an inch so once that is done i'll go ahead to steam press using a hemming glue okay this is what a hemming glue looks like and for a more firm hold on the crinoline, line you need to double the hemming glue or hemming gum so that it sticks properly so i'll be ironing steam pressing actually the crinoline on the wrong side of the denim so this will help hold the crinoline inside and give the peplum this structured look i will continue steam pressing throughout the entire width of the peplum and once i'm done with this i'll do the same thing the same process for the other layers of the peplum for both both sides of the dress it's not actually a sleeve but it looks like a sleeve now these are the three layers for one side i have another three layers exactly like this for the other side next i'll proceed to attach this to the denim only the denim fabric no lining 
okay that's the reason why i didn't attach the side panel just yet so for this peplum uh you need to notch the center of the peplum so that it aligns with the shoulder of the dress okay and whatever it says you have you pleat it i pleated one i pleated separately actually because the denim is thick so i attached it throughout that length and i didn't start from the waistline i moved upward by 2.5 inches so once i was done doing that i'll proceed to attach the side panels and this will be done on the same allowance so right side facing the peplum so that way we are sandwiching the peplum between the side panel and the center panels and sewing by half an inch. So we are almost done with this. When you're doing that, please ensure that the shoulder corresponds with what you have on the other side of the dress. So I'm done doing that now and this is what I have. I went ahead to close up the armhole using the lining. You don't have to do that. You can actually make use of a piping if you want, but using lining, that, in fact, that's one of the reasons I decided to use lining. It just made the work easier and faster for me. So the truth is for this dress, you can actually just use facing instead of lining because of the thickness. So now I'll be treating both the lining and the denim as one while i attach the skirt to the bodies by half an inch so that's the front skirt i'll be sewing it to the upper bodies by half an inch i'll do the same thing for the back but before then i went ahead to sew in the back dart which is not a cut through dart, of course like the upper bodies but you must ensure that the darts align with each other so i'll be sewing all of this together by half an inch and this is what i have right here the next thing i'll be doing will be to sew the um nude skin panel onto the outfit and remember i notch or maybe i didn't mention this but i actually notch the waistline of the nude panel so that i can know exactly where to sew onto the waistline and we also have the nude net there which is a layer on the nude crepe okay so i have done that here i sew by half an inch so basically we are true with this dress what's left is to attach a zip and to sew the side seam allowance i worked with my own side seam allowance of one inch and this is what i have when i was done so it was really worth it the outfit looked fabulous let me show you this on a mannequin yeah this is what we have it looks so classy so elegant if you'll be giving this a trial, let me know in the comment section. And if you like tutorials like this, let me know. You know, to just be nice to hear from you guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And hopefully we'll be seeing each other in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.